basic PC techniques for Dear Mom. Technique number one is called clicking. By clicking, I mean to click with your index finger the left button on your mouse. Just a single click. Technique number two is called double clicking. A double click is also performed on the left button of your mouse with your index finger. Just click click in rapid succession. Technique number three is called right clicking. A right click is performed on the right mouse button using your middle finger. Just one click is necessary. Be very precise as to where your arrow is when you perform a right click because a right click opens a menu specific to the item your arrow is resting on. That menu allows you to perform various tasks related to the item and the program being used. Technique number four is called click and drag. Using the index finger on the left mouse button, place the arrow on the item to be moved, preferably on the title bar. Press down on the left button and move your mouse at the same time. Drag the item on your screen. When it is where you want it, release your finger from the mouse button. Technique number five allows you to maximize a window. Simply place the tip of your arrow on the middle of the three boxes in the upper right corner of the current window. Then click on the left mouse button and voila, the window now is maximized, filling your screen and hiding any other open windows behind it. If desired, you can revert back to the smaller window size called Restore Down by simply returning your arrow back to the middle of those three squares and click with your index finger. The window reverts back to its previous size. Technique number six allows you to minimize a window. Just place your arrow on the box in the upper right corner of the current window which contains what looks like a minus sign. That is the minimize button. Just click it with your index finger. You'll see that your window isn't gone. It's just hidden out of your way down on the taskbar. To bring back that window, just put your arrow on the button labeled with the title you just minimized, and it's back. Technique number seven is closing a window. Place your arrow on the red and white X in the top right corner of the current window and click with your index finger. It is now closed. I hope you saved it before now. Technique number eight shows you how to open a program from the quick launch bar. Frequently used programs are placed in the quick launch area. You can see eight of them here. Click on the icon labeled Notepad and the program is launched. And quick, I'll minimize it for now. Knowing what that blue bar at the bottom of your screen is, is technique number nine. Over on the extreme right next to the clock is the notification area. That's where you might be notified about pending security updates for your system. The blue area in roughly the middle of the bottom edge of your screen is the taskbar. That's where you can see what windows and programs are currently open. By open, I don't necessarily mean visible. They can be minimized or hidden behind other open windows. Next to your start button is the quick launch area where you can designate programs to be launched quick. Technique number 10 allows you to restore a minimized window. Remember the notepad window that I minimized earlier? There it is, hiding on the taskbar. Just put your arrow on the notepad label, click with your index finger, and it's also back. Minimize it again by clicking on the minimize button, and away it goes again down to the taskbar. Let's see that again. Hover your arrow on the taskbar button, label notepad, click with your index finger, and it's back. Now let's maximize it by clicking on the middle of the three boxes. Now it's back, full screen. Let's try fixing a problem. Let's say your taskbar has mysteriously enlarged from the usual one quarter inch slither to a whopping one inch wide river. Here's how that may have happened. If someone unlocked your taskbar by right clicking on it, which opens its menu allowing you to unlock it, your taskbar's characteristic slimness can be easily changed. Now with the taskbar unlocked, notice how when I put my arrow over its top edge, the arrow turns into a little two headed black arrow. This little creature is a friend, not a foe. It's telling you that you can make the taskbar thicker thin by clicking and dragging on that top edge. Watch. See how it doubled its size. Now the quick launch area shows all available program icons in a double row. And the day and date are listed with the clock. To make it skinny again, put your arrow on the top edge of the taskbar. When the little small double-headed arrow appears, click and drag it down. You'll see a thin gray line appear showing the dimensions of the taskbar when you release the left mouse button, just like that. Now let's lock it into position so we don't have any more surprises. Notice the two-headed arrow still lets us know that the taskbar is not locked. Right click on an empty area of the taskbar which opens the taskbar menu. Move your arrow down and highlight in blue. Lock the taskbar. With it highlighted, click the left mouse button. It's now set in stone. Take a look at the menu. The check mark says it's locked. Close the menu by moving your arrow out of the menu box and click with your index finger. It's gone. Goodbye.